to summarize this section, I want to give you one quotation that uh, Rand admired and quoted with some, uh, some regularity. It's a quotation that comes from Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon, an early modern philosophy, early part of the 17th century, and it captures nicely a point that is very close to uh, what Rand called the primacy of existence point. So the quotation is that nature, right, to be commanded, must be obeyed. Francis Bacon. Uh, also known as one of the uh, uh, formulators of a more sophisticated understanding of scientific method in the, uh, the early modern era. And it's a nicely uh, paradoxical uh, formulation uh, because it plays off this issue of obedience, right, and being commanding. And in some sense, we want to be commanders at the same points we are not necessarily, right, obedient. And the point that Bacon is making that Rand agrees with, right, entirely here is uh, that it is nature, right, or reality, right, or existence that ultimately sets the terms. We live in reality, we live in the real world, things are what they are, facts are facts, and our fundamental orientation has to be to obey, right, that metaphysical situation, right, that we find ourselves in. But at the same time, because of our very powerful conscious apparatus, right, we are in a position to take control of our lives and to improve upon nature. And this is where the commanding part, right, if we want to be in control of our lives, control of our existence, control of our destinies, we can do that, right, by means of our powerful uh, uh, knowledge, uh, or the, the knowledge that our powerful capacities give us to, uh, as long as we are fundamentally sticking by the nature of reality. So. If we maintain rigorously this objective relationship between our consciousness and reality, then all is possible to us.